So let's solve this problem. So to find the area bounded by the two curves. So for this curve, since the given is x squared, then we need to solve the y intercept. If the given is y squared, solve for the x intercept. Since the given is x squared, so solve for the y intercept. We let x equal 0. So this becomes 0 squared minus 2y equals 0. Then to solve for y, so this is 0. So we have negative 2y equals 0. Then divide by negative 2. So y equals 0. So this is now the coordinate 0 for x and 0 for y. Then from the second curve, since the given is also x squared, then solve for the y intercept. So we let x equal 0. So this becomes 0 squared plus 2y minus 8. So this is 0. Then transpose this negative 8 to the other side to solve for y. So this is 2y equals 8. And to solve for y, divide both sides by 2. So y equals positive 4. So the coordinate is 0 for x and positive 4 for y. Then after solving for the intercept, so we need to solve now the points of intersections. So by combining these two curves, and to solve for the points of intersections, we can use the substitution method or the elimination method. Since for this given, we can use the elimination method because we can eliminate this negative 2y and positive 2y by adding these two equation. So this negative 2y and positive 2y, this becomes 0. Then we have 1x squared plus 1x squared. So we have 2x squared. Then bring down this negative 8 equals 0. Then to solve for x, so transpose this to the other side. So this becomes positive 8. And divide both sides by 2. So this is x squared equals 4. Then to solve for x, take the square root. So we have now x equals the square root of positive 4 is positive and negative 2. So we have two values for x. x equals positive 2 and x equals negative 2. Then this time, we can solve now for y. So just choose any of this equation. But I prefer to use the first equation. So from x squared minus 2y equals 0. Then to solve for y. So starts from x equals positive 2. So this becomes 2 to the power 2 minus 2y equals 0. Because x is equal to positive 2. And this 2 to the power 2 is 4 minus 2y. Then to solve for y, so transpose this positive 4 to the other side. So this becomes negative 4. Then divide by negative 2. So we have y equals negative divide by negative. So we have positive 2. So the coordinates, so we have x is positive 2 and y is also positive 2. Then to solve for the other value for y, so at x equals negative 2. So the same equation, x is negative 2. Then negative 2 to the power 2, this is also equal to positive 4. Then to solve for y, so transpose to the other side. So this becomes negative 4. Then divide both sides by negative 2. So y equals positive 2. So the coordinate 
for x negative 2, y is also equal to positive 2. Then this time, we need to graph. So start plotting this point of intersections. So from the first coordinate, so we have x is positive 2 and y is positive 2. So x positive 2, y positive 2. Then you connect. So this is now the point for positive 2 and positive 2. Then the other coordinate, so x is negative 2 and y is positive 2. So x negative 2 and y is positive 2. So you connect. And this is now the other point for this point of intersection. Then to know now the opening for every curves. So from x squared minus 2y equals 0. Since the y-intercept is 0, 0, and this is 0, 0, so therefore this curve is opens upward, so this curve is x squared minus 2y equals 0. Then for the second curve, the x squared plus 2y minus 8, and the y-intercept is 0, 4, and this is point zero four so this curve is opens downward so this curve is for x squared plus two y minus eight equals zero so observe from the graph we can find now the area on the y axis so since on the y axis so we can find the area using this formula the upper y minus the lower y and this curve is the upper y and this curve is the lower y so we need to solve first the upper y and the lower y so the upper y is x squared plus 2y minus 8 then to solve for y so transpose everything to the other side except for y so we have 2y equals so this positive x squared becomes negative x squared and this negative 8 becomes positive 8 then to solve for y so divide both sides or divide every terms by 2 so we have now the upper y equals so this becomes negative one half x to the power two and this eight divide by two that's four so this is now the equation for the upper y then to solve for the lower y so that's x squared minus two y equals zero then to solve for y so transpose this to the other side so this becomes negative two y equals negative x squared and divide both sides or every terms by negative 2 so we have now the lower y equals so this negative divide by negative so this is positive 1 over 2 x to the power 2 then we can substitute now these two equation from this formula so the upper y so this is the upper y then minus the lower y and this is the lower y then for the lower limit and the upper limit since the variable is x so therefore we're going to use the values for x so positive 2 and negative 2 and this is the lower limit then negative 2 and positive 2 is the upper limit so negative 2 and positive 2 so to simplify so we can omit this parenthesis so this is now the integral of negative 1 over 2 x squared plus 4 then minus 1 over 2 x squared then the lower limit is negative 2 and the upper limit is positive 2 then take note that we can combine 
these two terms, the negative one half and negative one half. So since negative one half minus negative one half, so the same denominator, so just copy and add this numerator, so negative one and negative one, that's negative two. So this is equal to negative one or negative 1x squared or simply negative x squared. So we have now the area equals negative x squared then plus 4. Then this time we can integrate now or find out the antiderivative for this function. So using the formula so plus 1 for the exponent so this negative x to the power 2 plus 1. So this is negative x to the power 3, then over 3. Then plus, for the integral of the constant, so just add x. So the integral of 4 is 4x. Then we have now the lower limit, that's negative 2 and positive 2. So we can solve now the area. So substitute first the upper limit to x. So this becomes 2 to the power 3 over 3 plus 4 times 2. So replace x by this upper limit. Then minus the lower limit. So replace x by this negative 2. So this becomes negative 2 quantity to the power 3 plus 4 times negative 2. Then to simplify, so this 2 to the power 3, this is positive 8 and 4 times 2, that's 8. Then minus this negative 2 to the power 3, this is negative 8 over 3. And 4 times negative 2, that's also negative 8. Then to simplify, so this double negative, this becomes positive. Then we can easily solve this problem by omitting the parenthesis or the bracket. So negative 8 over 3 plus 8. Then distribute this negative. So this becomes negative 8 over 3. And negative times negative. This is positive 8. Then combine now these two terms. Negative 8 over 3 minus 8 over 3. So since the same denominator, so just copy. And add these two numerators. So negative 8 and negative 8, that's negative 16. So this is negative 16 over 3. Then positive 8 positive 8, that's positive 16. Then to solve for the area, so we can use the butterfly method. So this is over 1. Negative 16 times 1, that's negative 16. 3 times 16, this is positive 48. Then over 3 times 1, that's 3. Then simplify. So this negative 16 plus 48, that's positive 32 over 3. So therefore the area, so this 32 divided by 3, so we have 10.67 square units. So this is now the area bounded by the given two curves.